thought we'd take a look at something a little different today. I have an Illustrator document here and I thought I'd look for a good excuse and I found one to use Adobe Illustrator to design some buttons here and I'm going to import them into Flash Catalyst and then we're going to use Flash Catalyst to turn them into real buttons that we can use in an application in say a web page or something like that. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you what I've got here. I'm going to assume that you're familiar with the basics of Illustrator and I've got three I've got one layer here as you can see called button and I've got three grouped objects here called off, over and down and it's important when going over to Flash Catalyst that you, you lay these things out in a sensible fashion ahead of time because you'll see why later on. But what I'm going to do, I'll turn these on here, the visibility so you can see them. There's the down state, it's just a, a blue button with my button text over it, sorry, a cyan button with blue text on top. The over state sits on top of that and it's just a green one with some white text. And then the off state, the sort of default normal, sits on top there with green and black text. Clearly not a very pretty design, but the idea being is that I want you to really visually see what's going on here, so I made them very different. So I'm just going to close these up. I've got these, just to go over it again, these three grouped objects. I've got down, over, and off on the button layer. Now I've already saved this as an Illustrator file. What I'm going to do now though is I'm going to go File, and I'm going to go Save As, and I'm actually going to go to the desktop here, and I'm going to save this as an FXG, Adobe FXG format. And I'm just going to go Save. It's going to give me some options here. And I'm just going to leave all of these at the default for now, no need to mess with any of those, and go OK. So what I'm going to do now is we're done with Illustrator, so I'm going to go ahead and close that, and we'll move over to Flash Catalyst. OK, so here we are in Flash Catalyst. You can, by all means, import the Illustrator file, Adobe Illustrator file, but I'm actually going to say create new project from design file, and I'm going to say from this FXG file. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the desktop, click on the FXG file, and click Open and it's going to do a little bit of analyzing and moving some things around for us that's going to help us out you'll see in a second and so here it is so if you look in the layers panel you can see we have this layer called button and inside there is our groups exactly the same as they were in illustrator that's why it's important to lay these things out and think about them ahead of time because now i can just turn these groups on and off with the same effect now what i'm going to do though is we need to turn this from a graphic into a component so i'm going to click on the button layer there and you can see this little heads up says there's three items there's three items on that layer that we've selected because i actually clicked on the button it's important that you click on the button layer there and i'm going to say choose component and this is going to be a button and what's going to happen now and it says okay well in a button you have an up an over a down and disabled state and so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to double click this new button that we've created and you can see on the pages states here we do indeed have an up, over, down and disabled state and if I expand the layer here again you can see these groups well now watch this, this is cool so in the up state, sure I want to see the green there so I'm just going to turn off seeing the over and down I'm going to click on the over state and I'm going to turn off the visibility for off and down to just see the over. I'm going to click on down and I'm going to turn off the visibility for off and over and see down. And in this case I don't have a disabled state so I'm not going to worry about that. But if you now click through and look on the down state you can see it's just turning on and off the various visibilities for those groups on that button layer. And so there you are, we've defined those states just by turning some things on and off. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on here to go back to the button skin and so that's taken care of that for us and all we need to do now is save it and just test it in the browser so what I'm going to do I'm going to go up to file and I'm going to run the project or you can do command return on the Mac and here what it's done it's opened it up in Chrome and as you can see there's the the normal default state in green as I move the mouse over, it's going to turn it to the green state, the darker green, and when I click down, it's going to turn it to the blue for the clicked state. So there you go. All we've done is convert a very simple piece of Adobe Illustrator design into a functional web application with a few clicks using Flash Catalyst.